Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's the answer. Over there's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight I am super excited because we are going to be watching The Black Phone. Now, I'm a big fan of, of certain horror movies. I don't love the genre as a whole, but movies like the Halloween series I really like, and uh, the original Saw I was really interested in. So from what I've seen from the trailer for this one, it's like Ethan Hawke is on full Joker mode, uh, that level of acting, and the premise is absolutely terrifying. And from what I've seen, it looks like it's going to be great. So I'm super excited. You know, I can't wait to see which direction they go because I've, I've obviously I've seen the trailer as well. But you see how good Ethan Hawke is just he's good in anything. He's pretty much money. But to see like how the kid is going to escape and what it needs to do and everything that encompasses it. I am really looking forward to this. Yeah, I, I, I like horror movies. I tend to enjoy horror movies a little bit more when they're like the 80s, like Friday the 13th, yeah, like Halloween, slashers. where it's like. You know, a little over the top, yeah. but still entertaining. But you're like, no, <laughs> like the Geico commercial. Should we get in the running car? No, let's go hide in the shed. Um, those movies I enjoy. The movies that tend to be uh, more realistic horror movies. I don't know. They kind of creep me out a little bit when they're when they're covering like a situation that could actually happen. Um, aside from the description of the movie, um, I don't know anything about this movie, but uh, it kind of signs point to it's a it's a realistic situation that could happen. So. Eh, not my favorite, but, um, you know, every movie that we go into, I try to keep an open mind. So I'm just going to try to have uh, fun with this one, yes, I guess. Dude. Enjoy it. Jesus. So Not likely. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Zero expectations. The trailer looked good. Saw a couple uh, reviews. They put it over uh, like a million dollars. So and it, was not, it wasn't spoiled. So that's the good thing. Uh, looking forward to everything that this movie is going to offer. So, yeah. Quinn, are you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Oak, are you able? Oh, God. Are you... Oh, I see where he's going. <laughs> Jesus. Dave, are you willing? No, oh, I'm willing. God, dude, well, I'm ready, willing, and able to watch this movie. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, having a banquet. Of course, this banquet. Is, uh, taking place back in time. Yeah, I'm guessing by the Coors Banquet and the cannon and those pants. Okay, 78, so there we go. Yep. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, don't be looking at her. You got to look at the strike zone. Oh, this kid's going to ding one off him now because he lost his focus. Oh, <laughs> I told you. Uh, uh. Oh, now she's ignoring him. Oh, brutal. Man, your arm is mint. You almost had him. Good game. All right, some good sportsmanship yeah, I, there. You know, I like that. That was good. Look at him. He's on cloud nine. <laughs> oh, the, yeah, old the old rockets. missiles. I remember those. They had those even in our day. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh Jesus. And that's it? Just that's fade to black? Oh, 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 uh, they, oh, really? That's oh, how they did that? God, oh, you know, the, the, the creepy van? That's a like, story that every kid grew up like with. Like a 70s and like yes. 80s thing. Garden. Like the music playing with like all the old visuals makes yeah. it real seem like it's almost like more of a documentary. Well, and showing, yeah, they're like they're a showing scary like documentary. knee cuts and everything in the mix. Yeah. Oh, uh, Dad doesn't like the slurping. No. Out a little louder. I don't think they can hear you up in the bowl. Sorry, Daddy. Yeah, Dad's in the like '70s wanted a real quiet home when they were reading their newspaper. Yeah, especially, especially when... like it's time to like relax. Everyone says Fonzie or Richie. It really <laughs> says Pot. <laughs> And I don't think anyone should ever trust anyone who wants to grow up and marry Potsy. I think I'll just stick with my current plan and marry Danny Bonaducci. They're oh, not going to marry a member of the Partridge family. He's so crucial. Crucial? <laughs> I love it. The flyer. Mr. Yamada is putting them up again. God, that's so You don't think horrible. they're going to find them, do you? Not how they want to. Oh, Jesus. Fight, 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 fight. Oh, yeah. 
the big fight going down. Find out. I will pound you like a nail, you scrawny little beaner. Then do it. No. Oh, classic. Oh! Oh, the old neck breaker. Oh, no. He's going to mess him up. Or not. I thought he's going to give him the rude awakening. Oh. Oh. Oh, just working on All right, someone can step in. The, fight, the fight's over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think shit. you got the up. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Jesus. All right. Oh. All right. It... Lesson learned. That was Moose. I don't care. Moose is a giant <laughs> asshole. Well, he just he just got put in his place. He had to come. Oh, so... The he was same the guy who bullied him. Robin Ariana. He's the toughest kid in school since the grabber got pinball Vince Hopper. The grabber. Oh, Even Jesus. the teachers call him the grabber. Which one says that? But just pulls up and just grabs kids. Actually, believe that story, do you? No. Because he can't hear you. He doesn't really take kids that say it. I know that. Vinny. I said I know. Then say it. No. Are you chicken? I didn't mean it. I know. Oh, oh, there's, there's the, the van. van again. The next layer, called the mantle, is mostly solid. <laughs> That's kind of cool. As the Earth separated into layers, it began to cool slowly. <laughs> We've all done that move. Hey, Finny. He's booking out of there. Yeah. Coming out, dickweed. Not fooling anyone, Noid. She's doing it in our bathroom. Huh? Dipshits, move. <laughs> he said dipshits, <laughs> move. What's happening? Keep it on, keep it on, I guess. Moose got some damn sharp teeth. <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck with Finn again. I fuck with you. You can leave now. <laughs> I love this oh, kid. Yeah, the bathroom like Diamond Dave coming to the studio. Hey, dipshits. This kid's a gangster. I haven't heard that since his wedding. <laughs> I was so surprised when he swung, to be honest. Did you have to? I was just going to knock his ass down, but that wouldn't draw no blood. In a situation like that, the more blood, the better. For the crowd, you know? Makes a stronger point. <laughs> kid knows how to work. You got time to stop by my house after school. Is it Matthew again? Mr. Johnson talks too fast. He doesn't explain it right. Not like you. Can you walk me through it? If I get another F, I'm suspended. Yeah, sure. So that's how they got the relationship. Yep. yep. Okay. <clears throat> Couple of stand-up kids. What happened in your dreams? He was taken. By a man with black balloons in a van. Yes. Who else knows about the dream? Nobody. We found two black balloons at the scene, Gwen. Oh. Interesting. How did you know about the balloon? What aren't you telling us, Gwen? Either there's a leak in the department or... Or what? I'm the grabber? No. You think I kidnapped Vance Hopper last spring? Is that it? Vance got held back twice. I've seen him fight. And trust me, he could kick the shit out of either of you blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I took him down because obviously I'm the grabber, you dumb fucking fart knocker. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, wow. I didn't wow. think you were going to laugh. What? Wow. What aren't you telling us? Fart knocker definitely is solid. Sometimes my dreams are right. Okay, now how is she having these dreams? Yeah, it's psychic. Like I'll see what happens. I'm staying over at Susie's tonight. It's Friday, so you know what that means. I'll look after Dad. I'll be home in the morning. Rampage? He just said he'll look after Dad, so I wonder if oh, Dad's got an alcohol problem. That could be. Yeah, he did have all the beer bottles at breakfast, didn't he? Yeah, well, he's got two uh, right there. If this was 78 and this kid's about 10 or so, I wonder if, not to get too ahead of ourselves, but I wonder if dad was in Nam. Oh, it could be, yeah. So that's the second time they showed that. Yeah, there's so that's gonna come something into play later. with that for sure. That's going to come into play later. The doorknob jiggling. Was that over the TV or on the TV? That's what I was wondering, yeah. <laughs> the little man. <laughs> As a kid, that's scary stuff. Yeah, though, yeah right? absolutely. Oh, and they kept the, the blood. The black color. and white with the red, yeah. yeah. Three times. 
Oh, what the hell? Is oh, that? what the hell? Jesus! Oh, oh, shit! Die! Stay out of this! Why did the police come oh. to my wife? I don't know! I'm Tell me what? What? Nothing! Huh? Nothing! Hit me again, and I'm dropping it! You drop that, and I will beat your ass. What is this all? <laughs> oh, my God. What the hell? Oh, now you listen to me. Listen to me. You are not your mother. That means you do not hear things. You do not see things that are not there. Okay. Oh, so mom had some issues. They're just fucking dreams. I don't want to hear you say it. My dreams are just dreams. Say it again. My dreams are just dreams. Say it again. My dreams are just dreams! Go watch the television. And no ice on that bottom, young lady. I want you to think about what you did. That was a fucking hard scene, dude. Yes, yeah, so in, in no way, shape, or form, just to make it very clear, am I condoning this? But I think they showed it very purposely that he was doing the backside with the belt and not, like, hitting her face yeah, or throwing her around as a different type of punishment. I think that's to kind of show, like maybe even though he's got alcohol issues, there's some character stuff there, if that makes sense. Like as opposed to just like like beating just her up. just wailing on her. As yeah. opposed to like beating her up and tossing around, he was doing the, the belt with the, on the backside. Again, I'm not saying it's, it's right. I'm just saying that I think they did that on purpose. Yeah. Oh, oh. no! What is he wearing a cape? They keep they fading fade it out black every, every single time. time. Oh no, it's gonna be his God, he's gone. It's gonna be the parents calling asking if they've seen him. Yeah, yeah. all the parents calling every house. Oh, uh, and look how the writers and the how do they edit that emergency? Yeah. Remember that show back in the calls. day? Please. I understand. Thank you for calling. God, can we just get out of this house? I just want to get to like the, the scary stuff. I wanna Enough of this. Do you know a kid named Robin Ar 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 Ariana? Yeah, that's... He's a friend from school. Why? Oh, no. Do that dream thing. It doesn't work that way. You tried? Of course I have. You can try again. Let's know where his buddy is. No pressure on the sister. I think it's to the way the dad reacting. I think the mom could do it, too. Is what, that's why you're saying. Yeah. You could help me have a dream or two and just see something that could help the police. I would follow you forever. Don't think I don't know what's going on in here. No plan after lights out. Go to sleep. I'm really over this dad. You know, it's it's yeah. interesting though because the house isn't like a total dump and it's not no, a total shit. No, there's hole. issues with the dad. So Something's going on with the mom. Yeah. Dad's conflicted. We're sorry, Mr. Blake. Your daughter hasn't done anything. But is there any way we can speak with her? Hmm. So they're just going to keep drilling her with questions. Yeah. The same ones, too. Uh, I mean, it's not she's not going to change her answers. Yeah, and I mean. Who knows if she's going to answer now with her dad right there. Oh, yeah. good point. Oh, no, with him gone. Yeah. It leaves the bullies doing this shit. Oh, no. Oh, she's oh. got a rock. <laughs> oh! Fuck you too, ugly ass face. Oh, why'd you get rid of the rock? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the old judo. Th oh, oh, he's messed oh. up. Oh, Jesus. he's big time. <laughs> In the face. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Oh, he's messed up. <laughs> All right, class. The oh, Jesus. <laughs> this movie is brutal, dude. <laughs> we haven't even seen all the good stuff yet. No. No, he's not going to have a partner. Do you need a partner? Hey! I mean, yeah, I don't have a partner. Those guys are assholes. What? This morning? Everybody's talking about it. 
Jonah, Jonah, Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. <laughs> no, don't. don't separate. No, don't walk alone. I'll look after dad. <laughs> see you, kid. Oh, my God. See Wait, you, no, kid. no, 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 no. Don't walk alone. See, this is... You see that? Yeah. <laughs> Would you hand me my hat? <laughs> Yes. Run. Yeah. Please just run. Go the other way. Yeah, yeah, you just saw him look back. Run. Would you like to see a magic trick? No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he doesn't know. Kids love magicians, you know? Run, dude. Run, dude. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Ah! Oh, we got him with the spaceship. Got him. Oh, it's like chloroform type stuff. Maybe he's going to throw the rocket out so they find it. That was fast. My fucking arm. I should snap your neck for what you did to my arm. Anyone else feeling enraged? You don't have to be scared because nothing bad is going to happen here. I don't like that. You're here for me? I'm gonna go see who it is. Then I'll get you a soda. Then I'll come back and explain everything. Hmm? Get your hand off him, dude. Jesus. Well, now the question is, are the other two, like, gone? Yeah, are they gone? in there somewhere? Oh, look at these. There is a bloody spaceship. Yeah, he's, he's still, still got, got it. it. Black phone. Yeah. Okay, so it was cut? Yeah. Cutter yanked out of the wall. Gwenny, your dad's on the phone. Oh, boy. No, I haven't. Not since school. Oh, no. How is she going to be able to see? She's got to be the one to be able to save him. That's what I'm thinking. She's going to have the info to see it in her dreams. It doesn't work. Not since I was a kid. Oh. Someone's coming. I'll scream. If someone's upstairs, they'll hear me. No, he won't. Not with the door shut. He? Oh, he's getting no. info out of him. No one can hear anything down here. I soundproofed it myself. You're the one who killed the others. Bruce. Robin. That wasn't me. That was someone else. I will never make you do anything that you won't. Oh. Get out of here. Oh, he's... Got like a split personality thing going Please on. Please don't touch maybe. me. I'll scratch your face. And whoever's coming will see and ask why. This face? <sighs> Hang up the phone now. See, he's wearing a wedding ring, isn't he? Or is that the wrong hand? I was down here once when it rang. <laughs> Creepiest damn thing. No, that's, that's a what? That's 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 right wait, one. is that on his, oh, it's on oh, his it's pinky. pinky? Went off us right next to it. I picked it up without thinking to see if anyone was there. Was there? Oh, that's even... Oh, I thought that was going to be creepier than him saying no. was just yeah. shaking his head. Yeah. Did Jason Baker do the mask for this? I don't know. I'd have to look, but he's definitely talented enough to do it. Yep. It was. Huh? Jason Baker was involved. Shout out, Jason Baker. I knew it was you. Andrew, see if he's the, <laughs> the son brainchild of, of Derrickson, designer Tom Savini, Tom and Savini, fabricator yep. Jason Baker. If anyone could have broke that window, they already would have done it. Robin would have done it. You know, he's got a, a good arm for a baseball player, you know. Maybe that'll come into play. He's smart. I'm not getting out of here. Don't tell yourself that, dude. I don't know. You got to think. You got to think. Static electricity again. Well, it did it twice now. Do you think the power cord's cut for effect and that it's actually plugged in behind the actual phone? <sighs> Or is this even real? Hello? Or is it real? I wouldn't think he's in as uh, a deep enough state of distress or delusion that he'd be imagining Hello? a phone ringing. You know what I'm saying? Like after a couple weeks or months. But then again, obviously, him being in this situation would be about as traumatizing as it can possibly get. Yeah. Is it moving? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Oh, he's got the, the hat off. How are your eyes? They hurt. 
Oh, what creepy mannerisms. Yeah. You anything to eat? You'll have to wait. Is there someone upstairs who will see you bring me food? Don't you worry about that. If you weren't going to feed me, why'd you even come down here? Just to look at you. Oh, uh, oh Jesus. I just wanted to look at you. His eyes are all watering yeah. hard over there. Okay, uh, well early prediction. Did he maybe have a kid of his own that he lost? I'm thinking now... he was. I'm thinking he was victimized in that same room. Yeah, he, he said he was in there on the, the phone. Yeah, or, or whatever. Uh, but I'm wondering if he had a boy that he lost, and when he just said he just wants to look at him, um, either he lost the kid or he is like having like flashbacks when he was there, like you were saying. Whoa. What is going on? <laughs> what if it's dude calling from upstairs just to mess with him? Oh. Well, he was he was down here though and it was ringing before. Guys, are is he imagine I I can't believe he's imagining it though. Like you said he's got his wits about him a little bit too much. Well, we're going on what? He's a kid. Maybe 10 plus yeah. hours now of no eating. That's true. Don't hang up. Who? Who is this? I don't remember my name. Why not? Oh boy. Whoa. It's the first thing you lose. How do you know my name? We met once. Your arm is mint. You almost had me. Bruce? It's Bruce. Yeah, of course. Who was missing? Bruce Yamada? Yeah. Uh, I'm Bruce. Your arm is mint. Is the phone cord going into the wall right there? You see that? The phone ring for you. It rang, but none of us heard it. I don't know if that's a crack or none of us. There's more. Why are you calling me? Your arm is a mint. You almost had me. This is all him. Vinny? Yeah? There's a dirt section of the floor in the hallway where the tile is loose. Dig down underneath the foundation. I tried, but there wasn't time for me to dig up and out the other side. Oh, I have enough time? God, this is so this is, weird. Is this his subconscious, like, talking to himself in order to calm himself? Down I mean, it's that or, like... So many things. I'm I'm looking at the room, and I'm thinking, like, a big blocked-off room. It doesn't make sense that it's just, like, a dungeon in a basement, you know? Showing baby Bruce. Are there multiple rooms downstairs that all have, like, connecting telephones? You know, like, when you pick up a phone and it rings in the other room yeah. automatically? Oh, they're showing it. Oh, does he use the black balloon so people don't see that he's, like, grabbing a kid? You yeah. know, it makes it harder to... <laughs> oh, she awesome was kid. seeing it. That was her dream. That's good. That's a good sign. It means he he means he at least got to the door if her dreams are true. Oh, she's trying to find the house that looks like that. Okay, well, that's a little bit hard to replace now. It's not like tiles you just lift it up. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it matters that the big hole is there. Oh, there you go. It's by the carpets. It's like you're putting a Rita Hayworth poster over a hole in the wall. Oh, eat it. Don't eat it. You're already down here. What do I need to drug you for? Jesus. Now they showed that, yeah, that handle that, for that a reason. Lock, yeah. Did it not close all the way? <gasps> Don't go to the phone. <laughs> no. I bet the door didn't shut. Hello? What? Don't go upstairs. Why not? It's a trap. Are you Bruce? Who's Bruce? Oh, it's other kids. We don't play baseball here. Who are you? Oh, whoa. He's waiting. On the other side with that fucking belt. Oh. He's gonna say you can leave. So if you try, he'll punish you. He'll beat you with that belt until you pass out. It hurts real bad. You beg him to stop. Got the audio with the voices. Crazy. He just keeps beating you. Hello? I like how they did that right yeah. there. That was cool. This is so fucked up. Excuse me. I mean, language. it is, but it's such an original movie and idea. Yeah, oh, why are you going up? He told you not to. No, get back in there. Oh, man. It's 
told you the it's a trap. The anxiety I have for this kid, dude. Oh, Jesus. He's got the belt ready to go. See, the mask has a sad face now. Oh, that's weird. Oh, okay. Good, you came good. back. Good. Oh, this kid's gonna give me a heart attack, man. <laughs> so the mask are ex his way of expressing which emotion that he's currently gonna go yeah. through. Yeah. You said my name was Billy. Billy Showalter. Don't call me that. I don't remember it. It's not who I am now. The hell is going on now? See the wall separated from the floor. Yeah. I tore a long cable loose from down there. I kept it hidden. What am I supposed to do with that? What? Oh, use the cable to get the window. Oh, she's dreaming. Yeah. Paper boy. Broncos, she sees the paper boy. Is that the house? Yeah. Remember the tree? Yeah, and she saw him. And she I think she saw an address too. Was that the actual phone line? Yeah. Okay, so he's got a, a hole in the ground covered up with the carpet. He's got a bottle and this cable now. That's what he wants him to do is to pull that out. Yeah. Oh yeah, soundproof. He's not gonna hear it. Yeah, that's a key thing to have that it's yeah. soundproof, so he can't ever hear it. How's he gonna get it though? Stack those up, maybe. Yeah, get a better step. What is? Oh, he's gonna feed it up. Okay. There we go. Yeah. You know, the one crazy part of this is, it, while it is soundproof, he can't hear him coming down. Yeah, so he doesn't know when he's gonna show up. So is there, at any point, that he gets caught doing all this stuff? Ooh. It's so thin, you can't, you can't grab a hold of it. There you go, make some loops. Really, is there a hook on the window? Oh, it's the latch. Or dude's gonna come downstairs. Yeah, one of the two. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's... Now he can't get up there. Shit. Your mother, she was a special soul, and she was smart, just like you. Was. Was. She just became so convinced that her dreams meant something, and eventually they told her to do things until she took her own life. Oh, Jesus. I don't want that future for you, sweetheart. What if it could help me find Benny? It's a lot of pressure to put on yourself as a kid, though, too, you know? He has to be able to grab these kids and get them back to his place very quickly, which means he's got a house with a garage, which means that the grabber has to live somewhere in this area. Mr. Uh, it's Max. Mr. Max. <laughs> it's just Max. My friends call me Max. And since we're all working on this case together, you know How long have you lived in this? <laughs> <laughs> we're all working together. Yeah. Here, this is my brother's place. I've been reading about this case a lot. You keep working at this, but if you see any of these boys, give us a call. Or if I have any new leads, right? If you see any of these boys, then call. I want to tidy up before your brother gets home. Oh, do you have a little, uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's like he's all hyper. Stupid, yeah. stupid moron. God damn it, Max. <laughs> he's all... <laughs> all right, that makes sense. Wait, it is the house. It is. Remember, he said that's his brother's place. And he, he said he, and he, he, said he, he had to talk to he. But his place. Yeah. Uh, his brother's place. I'm sorry, yeah. brothers. Holy shit. What? And since it's soundproof, he can't hear. 
Yeah. yeah. And he has n clearly no reason to ever go downstairs. That's a cover up. Yeah. Like you wouldn't suspect him if he's, he's trying to he's help. He's trying to solve it, yeah. So there's two of this them. Doesn't to deal feel, with? This doesn't feel like a two guys in on it vibe. Yeah. Tell me your name. Why do you care? I usually don't. I find out eventually in the paper they always print a nice big photo. Oh, uh, oh. Everything's different. Nothing's going right. You can let me go. Is that because the brother's there? I'm thinking about it. Oh. I promise I won't tell anyone. He's lying to you. He's totally yeah. lying to you. Drop me off on the street. I'll walk home. Well, well tell me your name. Make Taylor. it up. Yep. There you go. Taylor Moon. He's gonna know about. Oh, oh, he lied to him. On. Yeah, he's got the sad face. That was my bad for thinking that because he said he eventually finds out in the paper. I was anyway. really starting to like you, Finny. I almost let you go. <laughs> he's such a liar. Oh, he didn't close it all the way again. Yeah, he keeps testing him. Then. Yeah. This? Billy Paperboy? Maybe just enough of a reminder. Don't go upstairs. So yeah, he's, he's waiting, waiting there again. Yeah, he wants. So then, what is like Max doing while he's doing like this stuff? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey man, she's hungry. Who knows what the the timing is on this schedule? Yeah. I'll follow the so tracks. it is dripping. Yeah. Oh, I feel like something's gonna jump out at us. It's just yeah, a jump scare scene. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Jesus. The way they shot that, I knew he there knew was, was going to be a jump scare. It's the blood dripping. Good God. Hello? You don't have much time. The grabber hasn't been sleeping. He thinks this might be it, that he's going to figure it out. Who's going to figure it out? His brother upstairs. Oh, he is there. <laughs> Who's inside? Probably. I didn't know you. Nobody did. You spent so many years invisible. And then every kid in the state knows your name. Oh, well, yeah. If you don't play Naughty Boy, the grabber can't beat you. <sighs> he passed out, waiting for you to play. The door is still unlocked. There's a combination lock. It was my bike lock. Your bike lock? When he took me. What's the combination? I carved it with a bottle cap in the wall. About shoulder height when you're sitting down. That was in her dream, remember? He runs to that door. Yeah, and he's... Is that the spot? <sighs> That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Two, three, three, one, seven. Two, three, three, one, seven. Okay. So is it 23? 23, 31, seven. Yeah, exactly. 23, yeah. 3, 17. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I can't remember. Perfect. <laughs> exactly. Yep. You'll have to try them all. And you'll have to be very oh. quiet about it. Oh. Are we talking spin lock? Are we talking with the four? Yeah. Seventies, so I can't I'm, imagine that that was invented. Yeah. It's probably just a regular spin combination yeah. lock, but when you have six digits, it's all two digits. Yeah. Um well, it could be yeah, like he said. Could it could be, be two, three, oh three, three yeah. one seven, yeah. oh two, you know. Yeah. yeah, but he gave three, yeah. so that's why I'm thinking it's just one of those three. Hopefully. Well it can only be right, it can only yeah. be three. Oh, Yeah, there's God, at this point, you would just think a kitchen knife. Okay, so, okay so here we go. Oh, God, this shit makes me nervous. It's like you just, you're waiting for him to come up on behind him. Oh, look at the way they're shooting this right now. Yep. So, yeah, he's coming. I can't fucking hold So where you have to like slow your heartbeat and freaking just breathe through your His nose. That's gonna pop up. Oh, yeah. Joe! Oh. Get off the street! Get yeah. off the street! Oh, he got caught. You say one fucking word, and I will gut you like a pig. Right here in the street. Start screaming, kid. Well, they're gonna. People are gonna see the van, right? You would. Yeah, they have to. 
Oh, they're just looking out their windows. They didn't see nothing. Lights go off. <clears throat> oh! Come on! Samson was barking at something. It's nothing. Go back to bed, Max. Oh, he said Max. Was he out cold enough to not hear Max? Yeah. Jesus, what the fuck? I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I asked you for help when you give me these clues that don't mean anything. Seriously, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't tell me that you don't get involved because you've been giving me these dreams. Maybe you're not even real. Tim. You gonna say something? What the shit kind of question is that? Do you even know who you are? I'm Finny Blake. Hell, nice to fucking meet you, Finny Blake. This is it. This is what? A horrifying nightmare end of your pathetic little life. Your friend's Hopper. Trust me, Finny Blake. Today's the day, motherfucker! So, today's the day he's escaping, or today's yeah. the day Let, he's... Let's hope he's escaping. Now oh, we're, gonna we're gonna see how his... he got Oh, it. man. Anybody else getting Billy from Stranger Things vibes? I was vibes? just gonna say, is it Billy? Got that Van Halen yeah, hair he's rocking, though. No. Of course, I'm gonna do a dumb shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh. Fucker! You fucked with my daddy! Oh, fuck. Oh, pulled out a knife and got his ass kicked. Yeah. Oh, he's. Was that the score? He's gonna get away and run. Watch this. Oh, look who it is. Wait she, a minute. Is she like in the dream now? She is. She's like yeah. in that world now. Do you even know who you are? What the shit kind of question is that? This is it. Oh, she's showing him. Holy shit. There's the tree. Yep. Your fence hopper. So, there's the That's address. what he carved in the, in the kid's arm. Yep. Sorry, Daddy. You should scare me. Have you tried stacking the carpets to reach the window? I've tried everything. No, not everything. When the grabber saw what I had done, that was it. What did you do? Oh, that fuck tried to spend a fortune repair all the damages. Well, you have some other important shit you have to do right now. No, 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 no. There's an outlet in the shitter across from the John. On the other side of that wall, there's a storage room. You can't get into that room because there's a big ass upright freezer in the way. Break into the wall about two feet above the outlet. Get the panel off. You're into the freezer. Fuck! <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so the one thing that I didn't see coming about this movie when we started watching it, like I didn't understand the concept of the phone. So this isn't like an actual like this could be happening. There's very much like some sort of weird sci-fi like yeah, supernatural, supernatural. Um, yeah. happenings going on here. Yeah, I mean, the, the concept could happen, but the way the interaction, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Ugh, I suppose. Yeah, you don't have a choice. Yeah. Drink. I mean, it's. I mean, if you think about it, it's just regular city water coming yeah. into the top of the toilet. Oh, there's the freezer. <laughs> think. What do you got? Bottle caps, maybe. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, he's gonna t take the back off. And yeah, go climb, through. climb through. Yeah, that's what he told him. Yeah. Now he's gotta try to get out of the house again. Oh, oh it's got those. locks on it. <laughs> Now he can't hide the damage that he did. <laughs> there it is. Go answer it. Come on, Finny. It's just he feels so defeated. Hey, Finn. Of course, this must be the last call. Yeah. Because Robin was always on his side. Don't cry. I'm not. I've been with you this whole time. A man never leaves a friend behind. My dad didn't leave his buddies behind when he went to Nam. That's why I didn't come home, and I'm not coming home either. You ain't gonna go like I did. Robin. You remember what I told you? Someday I have to stand up for myself. Someday is today, Finn. Not a fighter like you, Robin. You can even take him. You were always afraid to throw a punch, but you always knew how to take one. I'm not strong enough. You're getting out of here. If you can't do it for you, do it for me. What does it matter? I want to at least have died for a friend. You're gonna use a weapon. The one in your hand. Fill the receiver with dirt. Then you practice. You raise the phone. Take a fast step back. Step forward, step back, and swing. You raise the phone. Take a fast step back. Step forward, step back, and swing. Wouldn't he just use his little rocket to jab him in the neck? That's what I was thinking, yeah. This was the last call, Finn. Use what we gave you. Bye, Finn. Bye, Robin. 
Well, and this makes sense to have Robin be the last call because he needed motivation. Yep, and he does still have the, the rocket, so it didn't get damaged. What's he doing? Oh, he's gonna, oh, he's gonna trip him when he comes in the door. Sister's out looking for him. She's gonna find it. We're coming up 70, on 70, was it 77 14? 77 41. 41. Oh, shit. There it is. It's going to be right there. See the fence on the corner there? They made sure you had that split second you saw that fence. Yep, there it is. It's everything. It's right there. Detective Wright, please. Oh, he's getting oh, he's all his... planning it tonight, too. Yep. This guy's all fucking <laughs> so He's just out. lit. Oh, is he going to figure it out, maybe? Wait, was that concrete? That was lime. That was lime dissolve a body. Brother's going to come back, and he's going to be arrested, and he's going to hightail it out of there. Oh, and then they'll never catch the grabber. Oh, that would be oh, a Oh, they're going to no. bust the... Oh. He'll get busted, yeah. No, that's a great that's a foreshadow. Thing. You know what? That's brilliant answer. Oh, oh shit, he's putting it together. Yeah, he's and the gonna kid's going to He's going to take out the brother right here. That's what's going to happen. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. This is oh, brilliant this is writing. So no, answer, answer, you nailed wild. it. Answer, nailed it. Oh, man. He is going to take out the brother. He's going to take out the wrong guy. Yep. No, no he, he knows it's not. Way. He knows it's not him. I knew that he was hiding something from me down here. Holy yeah, okay. Mother of God. I I'm Max, man. Stay, stay calm. Or his brother's going to take out his own brother. Hey, you know the story about how I found you, man? You know, we can talk about this. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, no. He's still walking around. Oh. Is this the house? Yes. Okay, you, you, step, step back. Stay with her. All right, bust that friggin' door down. Look what you made me do. You made me kill my brother. Or you, yeah, dipshit. You do shit. I'm sorry, Max. Now I'm gonna have to put you with the others. Open up. He can't hear. He's downstairs. Yeah. What's up with the phone, huh? I told you it doesn't work! You are special, Vinny. I'm gonna take my time. Samson! What the? No. Oh, wow. Okay, it's not Get that. in the kitchen right now. Samson, it's the wrong what? House. You guys didn't even check all the doors. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna trip him here. Into the pit. Oh! Oh, yes! Get him, Ben! Oh, oh he's wailing him with that phone. Fucking him up with that phone. Get him KO'd. Here you go. Oh. Come on, Ben. Oh, no. Oh, he got. What did he get him with? Uh, Nothing. He, he took the mask off. off. No, he took the mask he took off. The mask off. <laughs> oh, he's gonna choke him out with the phone. Shit! Cable. Shit! Go, Finny! Come on. No, keep going. Don't answer the phone. Don't answer the phone. Oh, he wants to be here. You. you don't have much time. Today's the day, motherfucker. I can't kill you, you hood puta. So Finn is gonna do it for me. Finn's arm is mint. Oh! Oh, fuck, he did it. No, right? no, no, no. That's what he's going to grab out of the freezer, some meat. Some oh, dog. some feed the dog, yeah. Wait. We've got a basement. Oh, gee, do you think you so? Think so? <laughs> Jesus. Were these guys trained? Mayberry? Yep, good call. No, I knew a wow, good call, <laughs> answer. Classic. Give the dog a stick. And you're out of there. What if it's not? The, what if it's different? Oh, are they doing like a Silence of the Lambs thing with us where they're in a different house? Yep. They are. They it's, are. No, a, no, that's where the kids are. Oh, that's right. That's where he buries the kids. Oh, it's two different houses. Oh. Oh, my God, dude. I mean, the grabber is gone, right? I don't know. I don't like how they're, <laughs> I don't like how they're playing I just want to see him get outside and I'll feel better. Well, he had the combination right before. Oh, God, dude, I can't watch. He made it. He's out. Okay. Uh, well, we didn't see him go out. Oh, he's across the okay. street. Well, you guys couldn't see the black van in the driveway? They didn't know. Oh, that's right. They, they didn't know. know. The that's van. right. They didn't Only know. The, the balloons, yeah. So she had the wrong house, but it was 
just the because the street. It, it was still the right it one. Was, they they found that's where the yeah, they found the bodies. That's right. Just think he has to live with that now for the rest of his life. Yeah. God, the creativity, how he got out and everything, though. Oh, the music was huge in this go home here. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Our community's long nightmare has finally come to a bittersweet end tonight with the rescue of the missing Blake child, but also the discovery of five bodies we believe to be the other missing children in the area. The perpetrator known as the grabber owned two homes, one where he kept the victims while alive, and a second empty home across the street where he buried them post-mortem. I wonder if that's what the carpet was for. He rolled them up in the carpet and carried oh, them across. Over, yeah, so that way. Yeah. Hi, Finny. I'm a Finn. Now, there's the confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's... oh <laughs> then it's over just like oh, that. Jeez. Wow. Guys, holy cow. Wow. This was something else. That was Brilliant. it. That was the black phone. Boom. And, you know, wow. So much more than I expected out of this movie. You know, we've all seen horror movies that, you know, they get by a lot of, on a lot of jump scares or a lot of gore and a lot of suspense. And, and this one was really different. I mean... It, it was a horror movie, no doubt, but so much more, almost a, a psychological thriller. And man, this, the story on this was just incredible. The originality. I mean, hey, everybody's saying they want original movies in Hollywood. Well, f hell, here you go. This is it. I mean, obviously not for everybody, but I think if you're into the kind of psychological thriller, horror type movies, 100%. I mean, the, the actors on this absolutely knock this one out of the park ethan hawk was absolutely terrifying as the grabber and it's you know it's 1978 what a better name for uh the villain than the grabber you know it almost it almost sounds like scooby-doo-esque but the way they did it is just totally terrifying yeah because um, you look at it from back then yeah you had to give everyone a name yes give them a name some sort of you know something to describe them in the paper because yep. he didn't know who it is so he had that's how you had to so do it grabber. yeah it was perfect. Uh, so that was incredible so i mean everybody absolutely crushed it on this movie the writing was awesome the originality i loved it the story everything this was five out of five answers oh, for me guys wow. for, the, for the black phone i'm going five out of five for this oh and it's like not even close First of all, uh, Ethan Hawke, amazing job as always. Terrifying. Um, whoever played the kid, was that Mason Thames perhaps? He did a great job as just, as, you know, playing that, you know, wussy kid that always had someone yep. helping him out and taking care of his light work for him, yep. you know, the badass kid, you know, at the beginning. Yep. But they did a great job. And even, uh, yeah, I'm believing it's right more than Madeline. Yeah, Madeline would have yeah. been. Uh, yeah, sister. Uh, God, was sister. she good. She was amazing in this. Everyone did a great job. The originality. There was some suspense. There were a few jump scares. Yeah, a little the bit. The music. The music was just awesome from the, the intro where I said it kind of seemed like a 70s like documentary yeah. Yeah. about a serial killer. It was mm -hmm. perfect. And then even that uh, the go-home music was just as amazing to me, too. I'm going to echo it with you. If you love this type of, of genre and these types of movies, this is easily a five. Out. Easily, yeah. Yeah, this movie was was really heavy. Um, and and I, like I've, I've said this before, and I'll just repeat myself because I know a lot of times we have people finding our channel somehow and they haven't seen our previous movies. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm 42. My, my son is two years old. And for years and years, when are you having kids? When are you having kids? And so I, I never want to have my opinions of looking at things different, being a parent, to reflect negatively on people who don't have kids or choose not to, or more importantly, like can't have kids. So please understand when I say, like, I look at this from a parent standpoint, I'm never trying to lecture or speak down to somebody who doesn't have children or can't have children or just choose not to. But I'm I'm never like, if we're gonna be real with you guys and and I I always am like you just look at stuff different when you have kids 
you do. Um, and and I, God, I got so tired of hearing that from people I, I know, before I had kids. <laughs> but you do, and so it impacts you a little bit different. And I have a son, and you know, it's like you, you just like instantly imagine yourself. And I go through like this weird, like silent, like like range of emotions from like, oh my God, like could you even sleep at night with your child missing? To like, at what end would I stop with the horrors that I would do to somebody who kidnapped my child? I mean, like this huge like, range of emotions that you go through watching the movie. Um, I thought it was a really good movie. Um, interesting plot in that they did cross the lines a little bit with some supernatural. The other victims were telling him. Um, but I wonder, like I'm wondering if that was supposed to be real or if it's just him noticing other things. Yeah, so I'm wondering if the, the telephone voices were all in his head and he knew that there was other kids down there and he because he knew all the other kids and if he was thinking oh well this he would have done this or this would have done this what would this kid have done what would this kid have done yeah. so i'm not really sure if the director meant for those other voices to be a supernatural thing or if that was him kind of thinking what the other kids would have done and coming up with it uh, on his own. Because yeah, um, he did say, like, when he talked about the freezer, he's like, yeah, I noticed that when we talked about the outlet. So yeah, so point. he noticed it. And you saw him look at the, the, the grates on the wall. You saw him kind of look at it before he did it. You know, and he took very close note of a lot of things down there. Um, you could tell that the time the, the lock was opened, he could tell, like, oh, okay, well, maybe he did it on purpose. So um, it's it's really brilliant in the way the writing is, though, right? Yeah. Like, if the director yeah. is making us think, like, okay, was it supernatural, or is that just him going through his thought process of, you know, what would his buddy have done? Well, my buddy would have told me to, to fight back, yeah. you know? So that's, that's very interesting. Um, the one thing that really resonates with me um, is – um, you, uh, again, if, if you're not somebody who watches these old documentaries, Netflix has some interesting documentaries on John Wayne Gacy. I think that's what we get the most like parallels from. Yeah. Um, John Wayne Gacy, God, I think he murdered like like 30 something boys. Um, they were the, the John Wayne Gacy's victims, I think, were in their older teens and early 20s. There were young men that he had working for him doing painting or construction, and it was, it was much more graphic. Um, than what we saw here in this movie with the nature of his crimes, but I won't get into that too much. But it was he, he, you know, he was kidnapping them. He was burying in the basement. Um, the the one difference with Gacy was the kids were either in their late teens or early twenties, so them going missing didn't garner as much attention as somebody who was twelve or thirteen. A lot of them were just considered runaways. It was the seventies. If somebody ran away, they couldn't text somebody to say it was okay. So a lot of parallels there, but, but what the, the big point that I wanted to get to is if I have to imagine if you were a parent of one of the five boys who was killed by this guy, like you don't really get closure in him being arrested and put in jail, right? Like that doesn't give you closure at the end of the day that he got caught. I mean, you're happy that the crimes stop and that nobody else has to go through what you've went through, but it doesn't give you closure. A victim... A young victim stepping up and having the courage to stand up for himself and having that young victim be the one who ends it. I would have to imagine in this situation for those parents to know that this young man is the one who stopped it all and he stepped up and his bravery ended this. And it's, you know, I don't want to say redemption, retribution for what had happened to their sons. So the fact that... Uh, I think this movie has a very different feel if he just cleverly gets away versus he ends it himself. Yeah. Because again, c closure for parents and knowing somebody got arrested is one thing. Knowing that the one, knowing that the guy's dead, I mean, is a, is a big thing. Whether you know the police shot him or whatever, but for those parents knowing that one of his young victims is the one who stood up and ended it, that's kind of like payback for their sons. So. 
this was a, a an absolutely brilliant an absolutely brilliant movie from the writing and like i said it didn't start to like coming into my head like until right when we were finished like because you, you you heard my comments like oh it's supernatural so it's a little different and i i don't think it is anymore like i think that was him you know because they it made it his subconscious they made yeah. a point of him saying oh, i knew that guy i knew that guy i knew that guy right yeah. like if it was just like oh it was some other kid but he knew all of them knew enough about their personalities the kid with the pinball machine you yeah, scared the, me yeah, the, only um, kid he didn't the, know the paper there, boy uh, griffin was yeah the only one. Griffin was like, Nobody knew yeah that. so he yeah, so he kind of knew them. So I thought it was brilliant. I'm not going to go quite a five star um, or five answer rather because I think that's kind of just a a little bit. But I'll go like a 4.9. This was a really, really uh, brilliant movie from um, the writing. Ethan Hawke was good, but his you know his character. I don't. I you know we we talked about the Joker ish a little bit. I don't think it took that much, no. um, but it was still really good. I liked the brother. I liked the detectives. Everything. I liked the sister. The sister's role was interesting in this movie because she didn't technically save him, right? Like she had all the visions, and his escaping didn't really have anything to no, do with he, his. He would have got out regardless. He would have gotten out regardless of whether his sister, but his sister was actively involved yeah. in trying to help and i think had it gone one step further his they, they would have like you know would they have come out and and, and started scanning the neighborhood and doing yeah. more you know so uh the sister's role i think was was good yeah. too but again i'm gonna go 4.9 i thought it was a, a brilliant movie and much more a um i don't know that this is a horror movie you yeah, know we that's talk, what i was wondering. we talked yeah, about it in the beginning it. like this is a horror movie yeah. i would put this in like almost like a yeah i was gonna just say like a seven i mean obviously yeah, very different from seven yeah it's got a horror plot and yeah, horror vibes, but I would definitely say more of a suspense psychological movie, and I think that speaks to how much depth it had. So again, phenomenal movie. I'd never even heard of it before these guys said that we were going to watch it, and uh, a great film. As, as heavy as it is, I mean, you don't walk away like, oh, wow, yeah, you know? Yeah. It's almost one of those movies like you don't want to like recommend <laughs> to somebody else like would you watch it i'd be like you know oh, what i'd recommend it i, I would gotta definitely this. recommend i would it. i mean i would tell <laughs> some like i'm look i'm giving it a 4.9 and i <laughs> see where you guys but i wouldn't like it's almost like would, would you tell somebody purposely to go watch seven it's like part of you is like yes it's a very good it's a very good movie and it's done very well <laughs> but you're just gonna it just makes you feel kind of like oh god that scene it just kind of makes you feel like Ugh. so i don't know great great movie though um so I don't, I, I can't, if you're this far, you, you already watched it with us. So, um, there, but, uh, that's, that's, that's it. So unbelievable. Uh, yeah. I, I would say, uh, this movie was really real wet. And so kudos to the writer writers for this, uh, shout out to the crew for all the 70 late seventies stuff that they had to do. Uh, the director, Scott Derrickson, uh, you did really Fuck. great i know we everyone goes to the actors right away so oh, that's yeah, kind of yeah. why i'm going to all the crew and everything yep. first because they did extremely well um i don't know what the budget was for this off top of hand so i'm gonna search it afterwards but guessing by the locations of just interior of the basement interior of the school interior of the house and then what was it one shot at the cop shop yeah and just exterior shots which was just yeah, they a probably, certain section of the town yep, got a lot with a little on the gas station i'm not going to go off and i'll stop right there but uh <laughs> it, the crew with what they had i imagine there wasn't a lot of cgi and this just a lot of great editing um the intro for this uh setup after they did the cold open we'll say it's a movie but cold open uh that intro it had that very, like you were mentioning that documentary like style and the music whoever the composer was for this i know mason quinn and i always try to point out uh to everyone the uh who does the score so i can't wait to see who did the score for this and i'm always kind of intrigued by uh the composers who do scores for these kind of horror movies because it's like okay how do you get yeah, yeah get, get what's get their mind mindset. frame yeah. that they're using for this and yeah. the joker is prime example of a fantastic we all know Hans Zimmer fantastic I wish he'd almost do every single movie there ever was <laughs> but uh, and I can't remember her name she's a fantastic composer she did the Joker and if she wasn't doing that composing for that score for the Joker while the Joker was fantastic by Todd Phillips 
it brings it to a different level. Yeah. I Music don't matters. Music yeah, absolutely it really matters. It sets the, the mood. The scores matter so much. And the score at the end of this, when the rescue, when it was the big go home, was amazing. Just like the answer said, uh, for the story, uh, gosh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the oak is not wrong. Uh, Quinn's not wrong when he says this. It, you end up when you have a kid and you watch these kind of stories or any story you're gonna think about your kids. And this is one where you definitely think, oh my God, what if this was my kid? What the hell would I do? You know, and if you're a parent, or if you even, will just say your dog, cat, what, you know, whatever you consider your child, good Lord, it, this movie was a, a fantastic, suspenseful yeah. thriller, just like these guys were mentioning. Um, Ethan Hawke, now was he like, he was creepy, but I, I wouldn't say like, I was deathly afraid of him. I was more. I had more. Oh, he uh, terrified me. Yeah, I, I was. I wasn't yeah, like deathly. And you have that mask he he had a lot of thinking. creepy yeah. components uh, to his character in here, and the mannerisms, as you mentioned, they were all creepy. Very, very well done. But like, I was in more suspense for the kids. And uh, more of an anxiety for the yeah. kid yeah. than like anything that, else. That feel of like a ticking time clock of when is he going to come back? When's yeah. he yes. going to come back? You yeah, know? so that was excellent. Just fantastic. Uh, there was one brutal scene that I kept saying I couldn't watch, and I just kind of kept turning my head. And it was the the belt scene. That just that was pretty hard for me to watch. Um, otherwise, this movie was fantastic. Uh, I will give it a 4.4 for my rating. And yes, I would recommend for you to check this out because it is a good story. Crazy story, creepy story, but I would definitely recommend it. I, I do want to touch on, on bringing up the dad because I did comment on that a lot during the movie. And um, and again, in, in no way, shape, or form am I justifying, you know, slapping a kid with a belt. But, I mean, we've, uh, I mean... My mom whapped our butts with a wooden spoon. Um, that was a big 80s thing, was a wooden spoon. And I think when I was younger, I'd do get my dad's belt on the butt a few times. Um, my, uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I've never been struck anywhere by my parents other than my backs. Actually, I think my dad probably gave me a few, a few of those oh, yeah, back yeah. in the day, you know, but those <laughs> weren't like those, ah, you know? Yeah, it's only because you're trying to knock sense. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I, I, I would never consider my parents uh, abusive, but I have, you know, and again, I was, I was born in, you know, uh, late 70s, so I grew up in the 80s, so I think a whap on the backside with a belt wasn't... I think um, it's safe to say anytime in the 70s was, or 80s, our ages, our age group, demographic, whatever, probably got introduced to it at least once. Yeah, and so the, and the reason that I bring that up is because if you're if you're somebody who's younger in your 20s or even in your early 30s, you might look at like, oh, this dad is like crazy abusive, but yeah. like a belt to the backside wasn't uncommon in the 70s, and I think they made a very very good point of showing the dad did not hit her face. Again, I'm not saying like it's okay, but yeah, but they did that for, for a the, reason for the time frame. It yeah. wasn't him like smacking her around. And even the fact that he said, don't ice your butt, because that was that was a thing. They wanted your, you know, this was going to be a reminder. So I, I think they did a good job in showing that the dad was emotional. He was very upset over the mother's um, suicide, didn't want the daughter following in her footsteps or whatever, and wanted to punish her. But I think there's a difference between, like, going a, a little bit over the line as far as punishment. over the line. And which clearly he did. Um, and being just like, a, like the drunk, abusive dad. Because we know there's a big difference between between, you know, punching your kids, throwing them into walls. You know, I mean, we've seen movies, you know, you know, even even like you know, the Breakfast Club. I mean, obviously very different movies, but they talk about the dad putting cigarettes yeah. out on the kid's arm. So I, I think they wanted to show that the dad was conflicted, which is just another goes back to, you know, what you brought up, like giving credit to the writers and the directors making us like everything matters. They made us feel like this every, movie makes everything you feel. matters. If anything in this movie, if nothing does that scene, I would like to think would make someone feel some yeah. kind and of I'm emotion. Glad. I was enraged. That's hard to watch yeah. for a lot of this movie, just silently yeah. enraged inside. It's just like, ah, uh, not hey. for. I mean, at the dad, but also at Ethan Hawke. And it's interesting you brought up, like you said, you know, your kids, and obviously we th we think different when we have kids. But it's interesting that you brought up, like, or you know, something that you care about a lot, your dog. And like as soon as you said, I I didn't even think about that. As soon as you said that, it like triggered something to me. I have I have four, and our dogs are our family, and I'm never going to compare my dogs. <laughs> to my son, um, I, I don't make that comparison. Um, but look, the 
if somebody kidnapped and hurt my dog, believe you. Believe you me. I don't even, I'm like, this is, you can tell I'm getting hyped up. If somebody kidnapped my dog and hurt one of my dogs, it would be like, it would be on. It would be full blown. Roadhouse. No holds barred. No, it'd be more like, um, <laughs> What was, what was the movie with um, Gerard Butler, uh, Law Abiding Citizen? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, in the beginning of Law Abiding Citizen? Yeah. yeah. So for, for the people who are, who are pet owners, trust me, if yeah. somebody, if, yeah. God, like, you imagine, like, somebody, like, kidnapping and hurting your dog. Oh, well, would, and I think oh. that's, you know, I think that's Ugh. what the brilliance of this movie was, was that, you know, uh, it, it could have gone so many different ways. Like, they, they could have not... Uh, put all that detail into the into the dad the way he was. They they could have not put all the detail into the you know into the storytelling with the basement the way it was and all the little the tricks and the things that he had to do. Like this movie could have so easily been nothing more than just a gore fest, jump oh, scare, yeah. uh, do some sadistic stuff, and that's how we'll sell tickets. But they didn't. They they told an incredible story with details that just made such a difference, and that's what really blew me away was. You know, they crank out these type of horror movies they do. just like a machine. Yeah. But, but you know, like these are these are different. These are there was something behind this. Again, we said more than just a, a regular run of the mill horror movie for sure. Yeah, this is up. This is up yeah. there with. I mean, Seven I think was one of the greatest suspense slash See, horror yeah, movies of all time. Seven. I need to watch Seven. You've whether it's a reaction seen, or on my own. You've I've never, never. You've never seen just, Seven. Just three seconds of the oh thrill. my god wow. i saw it in the oh, theaters yeah. what year did it come out 94 i, I, think. I, I think look for was... a poll coming up for hollywood uh <laughs> i think Halloween it, i can't believe you've never do. seen never it seen it. We, we, i know you guys were ripping me in the text group dude early 90s i'm of course i'm not gonna be man in we, we, you we, talk non-stop about top gun and that was 87 uh, yeah, because it was action and Tom Cruise. Oh we had a we had a four when I'm ex- ten years old. Two guys in a prison is not going to be like high on my list to watch. <laughs> our <whatever>. neighbors, <laughs> our neighbors had a foreign exchange student, and it was like his first like two weeks here, and we're like, hey, we're going to the movies. <laughs> and it was like ninety four, ninety five, because uh, you know my uh, ninety five, maybe early ninety six, whatever. Um, Kazu was his name from Japan, and we're like, "Oh, we're all going to the movies," and we went and saw Seven, and we felt it was his first time. Seven, imagine this: a foreign exchange student from Japan, his first time in an American theater, and the movie he saw was Seven, just you, dark and like, rainy. Like, this is really like that Gwyneth Paltrow. It's like this uh, is what the Americans want. Yeah, oh, like, get the hell yeah, out of here! Hard pass, yeah. but Jeez. wow, so huge, huge. Shout out to everybody with this movie from from A to Z, a phenomenal movie. Yeah. Everyone involved. So for Diamond Dave Damone, Captain Oak, that's of course Mason Quinn, and I am also the answer. Good night, pals. Shout out to Jason Baker. I didn't know if you wow. Wanted, I didn't know if you wanted to do Patreon. Real quick, I know we just said goodbye. Hey. <laughs> Real quick, I know we said we were saying goodbye here. Shout out to Jason Baker, a uh, good friend of Eric Rowan, aka Eric Redbeard. AKA to us, Big Joe. Uh, fantastic work on the mask. Got to, got to shut you out on this. Yep. So. so then, once again, for time, we're going to have the book, and of course, the answer. Good night, pals. <laughs> Look for a poll. <laughs>